I'm Rev. Mary Murray Shelton. I'm the minister at the Center for Spiritual Living in Vancouver, British Columbia. When the greatest teacher who ever lived said it is done unto you as you believe, what do you suppose he was talking about? This master mind was talking about a spiritual power in the universe, a power for good that we can use in everyday life for everything. In our tradition of religious science, we do a very specific kind of prayer that has five steps to it. So each of these Sundays, I've been talking about one of the five steps because our founder, Ernest Holmes, said to us very clearly that God, as the omnipresent good, the spirit of all self-givingness, does not withhold anything. So prayer, in, in our mind, is not for the purpose of convincing a reluctant God to do anything for us or to change anything because all has already been given. The purpose of the prayer then is for us to shift inside ourselves so that we're more available to the presence of that good that has already been given to us and we can let it in. Well, the founder of Science of Mind, Ernest Holmes, was a fascinating man. I never met him. He died in 1960. But uh, he was really that kind of person, actually, who went searching through the science and philosophy and religion of his time uh, when he first began speaking in the 1920s about this. He had studied broadly, but he wasn't intending to start any kind of spiritual organization. He simply felt that if people understood how to pray from uh, an awareness of the creative law, they would be happier and more effective as Jews or Christians or Muslims or Buddhists or Hindus or whatever their spiritual practice and path might be. So I titled this talk, How Can I Be Grateful for Something That Hasn't Happened Yet? Because this is what we're really saying we do in prayer. We express gratitude before the form reveals itself that we're hoping for or wanting to see happen. We express gratitude in advance and Ernest Holmes said this about that. And he wrote, We have no record of Jesus asking God to do anything except in the Garden of Gethsemane. Aside from this instance, Jesus' method of approach during his entire ministry was to give thanks and then command the law to work. And Ernest Holmes makes the case, as do many um, New Thought religions like us, uh, that Prayer is accompanied with the experience of thanks already because the gift has already been given. It just takes time for it to show up. So a friend of mine was saying last night that she had planted some vegetable, I don't remember what it was, in her vegetable garden uh, uh, without realizing that it takes 21 days for it to germinate. So she has to remember for 21 days to go out and water this apparently unresponsive dirt <laughs> with faith that something is going to pop up after three weeks. Uh, knowing that her neighbors might think she looks crazy out there, you know, watering and nothing seems to be happening. And that she has to maintain her awareness and faith that it's happening, even though she can't see it. It's already happening. And this is the kind of faith that we bring into prayer, to know that the process of transforming our awareness into acceptance can take us some time, but it is taking place even while we're waiting. And we make a case for experiencing our gratitude on the inside ahead of time. Science of Mind is a way of life. It's a faith and a philosophy. Ernest Holmes called it a science because there's a method involved. The, the kind of prayer that we do, affirmative prayer, which has this odd name, spiritual mind treatment, sounds very peculiar, but it's, it is a way of praying that has a specific formula to it in terms of the method in which it's done. Not the words that are said, but the way in which it flows. And that method is taught and can be repeated by anybody, anywhere. And it is acted upon by the creative law. So anybody can use it, no matter what their education or their background or their age or their economic status or political beliefs. Anybody can use it and it will respond to them. That creative law responds because that's what it's designed to do. So from that standpoint, Ernest Holmes looked at it as a science, but he called it the science 
of mind. I invite you to find out more about us by visiting our website at vancouver.csl.org. There you can find all about our classes, our Sunday celebrations, and other special events, and see what most appeals to you. There are frequently asked questions on that website and all sorts of information. I hope that we will meet what you are looking for. We would love to have you come and be a part of our spiritual community.